Hey guys, Mr. Blackout 63 here with another Minecraft tutorial. Um, one thing I just want to make sure I let you guys know, I don't think I've told you this yet, but uh, my in-game name on Minecraft is Mako20047. Um, I don't think I haven't told, I don't think I've told you that in any of my videos, but it's not Mr. Blackout 63 in-game, but uh, um, this episode, we're on the Eco City Craft server. Um, it's the number one Minecraft economy server. And uh, right now, I'm at uh, my under construction my co mayor mansion in this town that I live in. And uh, this is this tutorial is going to be for how to set up trade signs on the server. Um, because once you learn how to do them, they're not that hard. But trying to read the signs in the tutorial uh, world or whatever in the portal is kind of gets kind of confusing, uh, just because when you read it, you know it's kind of hard. Um, having somebody show you is a whole lot easier. But anyway, go ahead and make some signs first. Okay. Um. Now, like I said, it's pretty easy once you figure it out. Um is what I'm gonna do is the first thing on the first line you want to type is you want to type the little square parenthesis trade square parenthesis like that then you want to hit enter and depending on whether you're buying something or selling something um, the second line is what you put so now say you're selling something you put the price so alright I have do you see these six nether stars right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type six in star and then I'm gonna go down one and you want to determine how much you want to pay for those six nether stars. Um, now this is going to be buying nether stars. Alright, wait, no. Yeah, this is going to be buying nether stars. And as we do, so you type in six nether stars on the second line right here. Because that's what you're buying. Then on the second row, you want to put the amount of money you're going to pay. So say I want to pay 1800 for these six nether stars. So I'm going to enter the dollar sign 1800 and that's that's just how much I'm gonna pay for it then you need to put a colon like that and then you want to put the amount of money you're gonna put in your sign so say I wanted to buy six nether stars for 1800 for a long time all I have to do is say put intervals of 1800 so since I don't have enough to put two intervals I'm just gonna put 1800 and oop, I did something wrong um, you, oh, duh. I don't have sufficient funds. I only have 1500 I'm stupid. But anyway, that's what's going to happen. If something's wrong, it'll pop up right here that says error, and it'll say what's wrong. And the trade, the word trade, will be wrong. So, is what you do is you break the sign, place another one, and now do the same thing I just did. So, trade, or square parenthesis, trade, square parenthesis, enter, six in star. Um, then we'll, I'm going to charge $1,500 and put $1,500 in the sign. Just like that. And when it's right, it'll light up blue and your name will be under it. And then it takes $1,500. See, it takes $1,500 out of your account. And then when someone comes and buys it, it'll it'll give them that $1,500 that you put in. And it'll say $1,500 colon zero. That means the money in the sign is out. And the product, it'll say 6 in star. And then however many you have, this number will change. But... I'm not going to sell six nether stars for that much because that's really bad. But if you want to sell something, you want to do slash trade. And so what you want to do is, like, say I were going to sell these six nether stars for, we'll say, 1800 That's 300 a piece. So you just put 1800 a piece and you put six in star, colon, just like you're going to do the price. So that's what they're buying for $1,800. And now you want to put in intervals of six however many nether stars you want to sell. So I'm just going to put six because that's all I have click done and it'll pop up like this now all someone has to do is they come up and right click for $1800 they'll get six nether stars and now the way you figure out how to um, enter in the trade sign because like if you put redstone block redstone block isn't going to fit on the line or neither is gold ingot so what you want to do is you can type slash dura or dura and it'll come up right here it says gold ingot and it comes up with a code for 266. You can put that code on the sign instead of like, for instance, in star for nether stars. Um, or you could put G bar, bar G, and it comes up with a whole bunch of stuff that you can put on the sign. And another way you can do it is do slash item DB. It does the same thing. 
Um, let's see. Okay. And like, see if you do horse egg type slash item db, and in order to enter it in the sign, you would have to put egg horse or horse egg, or you could put the code three eight three colon one hundred. Um, pretty simple. Um, I'm getting my friend to buy my. Let's see. All right, so slash tr trade. I'm gonna for nineteen hundred dollars because he buys them for nineteen hundred dollars from me. Whoop. Put six N star colon six. Now he has my now the N stars are in the sign. Let me keep aim here. Fail. Okay. So let's get him to come in here and see if he'll buy them on camera for me. Aha. So let him get in here and you might not be able to see his person like his character because of server lag but watch whenever he clicks the sign you'll see the numbers change so we're just waiting on him to click the sign all right there you go so he all right so it pulled the six in stars out of the sign and he gave it to him and he gave me nineteen hundred dollars so I got nineteen hundred dollars in the sign and is what I do is when I want to collect that nineteen hundred dollars just right click the sign it gives me the nineteen hundred dollars see nineteen hundred dollars has been added to your account and then you're free to break the sign or whatever and tell him no problem Oh, I typed his name wrong, didn't I? Yep, up a bunt. But anyway, that is all. Um, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty simple once you figure out how to do it. Um, you can do it for anything. For well, not anything because like I can't remember if you could put like enchanted stuff in there or what. But that's how you do a trade sign, whether you're buying or selling. Um, again, really, really easy once you figure it out. It's just when you go to the tutorial. Sometimes when you have to read it. Um, it's kind of hard. That. Okay. But anyway, that's all for this episode. Um, Feel free to replay this episode as long as you need to do to figure out how to do the trade signs. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, send me um, a message in my inbox of anything you think I should do in future videos. And I will see you guys next time. 360.